Hello, boys and girls of the universe. I hope you're having a good day. We sure are, eh? Uh, we just went out and delivered some figurines that sold on the auction last night for $10. I did get a little bit lost, but while I was lost, I found some stuff. So, found some shoes for little man. Phones, some pots and pans, another wood rolly thing. In a mystery bag. I'm pretty sure it's clothes. So we're gonna go inside, get him settled, and we'll find out. Yay! Okay, boys and girls, I uh, went to grab my magnet in my bedroom. And while I was doing that, somebody actually knocked at the door. They were here for the glass lot that I sold last night on the Facebook auction site locally. Uh, so they went ahead, they messaged me, said they were gonna come today for noon, and they arrived at the time they said, I got some money. So every little bit counts, and you know, it's only four dollars, but <laughs> that's four dollars going towards my little guy there, so and he's special to me. So every bit counts, especially for his dream. Yes, baby. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna dive into this. Now, usually uh, any clothing items, I try to... You're not getting in here. I barricaded it for a reason. You destroy stuff. And then I have to clean all day. But uh, most times with anything clothing, I try to leave it outside in my car for at least 24 to 48 hours. Um, in, that's in the scrap car. That way, it, if it does have any bugs, if it has anything on it, it kind of has some time to die or get away. I always make sure, keep it really, really tight. So from what I can see here, everything is it's clean. I don't see any evidence of bugs. So I'm going to dive in. I'm going to see what is in here. Now, I, <laughs> ew, I am not happy with that. That's going straight in the garbage. That's black molded. Gross. Uh, but there's just a bunch of clothes. I thought so. And it's going to be guys' clothes from what I'm seeing. This one's brand new with the tag still on. Look at that. Oh, I just found a shirt for my hubby. That is gonna be perfect for him. And it's brand new. Tag still on, oh wow. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that there. And it definitely, I'm still gonna wash it, everything like that. Pittsburgh Steelers, some football. Now me and my husband, we're not personally, we're not into football. This will be a rag for his work. Um, now, at his work, any clothing that I do get that is stained, it's destroyed, it goes directly to him and his boss. They cut it apart and use it as rags. So that way, even if, oh, that's a nice sweater too. Even if it is destroyed, we still get use out of it. So every little bit counts, especially when it's not going in the landfill. But yeah, this is just track pants. What's this one? What's your name? Tony Hawk. Nice little hoodie, t-shirt, sweater. Yeah, so there's a, a sheet in which I'm just gonna throw that back in there. We're not gonna use that. It's no good for what we want. Bingo shirts, bingo shirts. So yeah, most of this rags, yeah, rags. But hey, you just never know. Yeah, that's right. So this one, I'm gonna wash. Ugh, these I'm not going to. This is going to be washed for a rag. This is going to be kept. Rag, 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 and not keep them. So, 
back a bag of... Oh, I forgot to put the sheet in too. Go ahead and get that done. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get this put away, finish up my little bit of chores I have to do. Um, I still have some dishes I have to do. I have to give little man lunch and get him, see if he's going to have a nap. He no longer naps for me, so I don't get the free time that I used to. So, but um, once everybody comes, picks up their items, I'm going to be headed over to my sister-in-law's hopefully. and. I can't wait to show you some of the scrap that I have there. Um, it's been there for a little bit, I've known about it, and I've been kind of holding it off. Because it is bigger, it's outside of my knowledge frame. So I'm trying to I'm trying to learn a little bit from other YouTubers by watching their videos over and kind of seeing how the best way to break it down is. So I want to I wanna definitely bring you guys with me for that. So I'll go ahead, I'm going to get all this stuff cleaned up, organized, washed, and put away. I'm going to keep pushing. So I hope everybody's having a good day out there. Keep pushing your dream. And have fun. Keep living. Bye, everybody. <laughs> I'm on the next one. I think vegetable oil on some of this stuff, so I'm gonna get that just thrown out. It's not even good to donate. Okay, so I had my magnet. Where did I put it? Right here. It's brown matches in. Okay, so now that I have all that out of the way, I wanted to check too. I figured it did have rust on it. So all scrap, but every little bit counts. So I'm going to keep a hold of that. Definitely. I hope everybody's having a good day. I can't stay away from you guys. What can I say? I went ahead and I made some afternoon coffee. I'm going to have my cup of coffee there got my money that I've been making today. Oops, let's flip that. That's got somebody's name on it. Uh, that is for the lady coming to pick up the bracelet or the necklace with the beads that I found in the parking lot. Now, uh, I put that up on an auction site and I didn't get a bid to after it closed, I put the starting bid as $10 and somebody said, hey, I did, I missed this, can I still get it for 10 bucks? So I went ahead and said, yeah, and they're gonna come and pick it up tomorrow, I do believe. I, I said I was available from 4.30 today, but they're gonna pick it up tomorrow, so I'll be available for that. Um, now, story behind that actually funny. Um, I found that in a parking lot and I, Posted it, did the right thing, tried to see if I could find the owner. Didn't find the owner, nobody claimed it. So I've just been having it in safekeeping. Got that posted. Supposedly it's sold. If not, I'll repost and just keep going down the line. Uh, but that's money in my pocket. It's perfect. I went and I dropped off the glass figurines for $10. Delivered those for the lady. She was very happy and very nice, so I'm glad. And then... Also, $4 for the glasses, uh, the glass lot. She came, picked that up. She was super happy with that. No worries, not a problem. She checked it all out. Um, also, the clothing lot, that's gone, picked up, four bucks. So, I have the metal picture, which has been a pain in my butt. 
Um, I should have just either hung it on my wall or just brought it to the scrap <laughs> yard with me at this point because it sold twice for a dollar. The first person didn't message me, didn't pick it up, nothing, wasted my time. Second person said that they didn't have a way of picking it up, but for a dollar, I wasn't going where I had to go to deliver it. It, it it's not feasible for me. I, I would have wasted gas. So I said no to the delivery. Um, they've gone ahead. They've contacted me back. They can pick it up. So 4.30 today, I get a buck for it. If not, it's going in my next scrap run. That I promise. Uh, I'm actually getting a package ready to send out for a special somebody. And this is going to be like my first time actually like sending a package anywhere to anyone. So I hope it gets there in one piece, safe, everything. Um, I do have a, a couple a couple more things planned uh, to, to pay it back in my own way to certain people. So if you get a weird message from me asking for your address there is a good reason why I'm not a stalker I'm not looking to you know find out anything about you or your life or you know nothing like that I just simply want to give you a token of my appreciation so um, I am a real person I have real feelings I have real self-confidence issues no matter what you think or what you see um, for me to do this is really hard and this has been a lifelong thing for me where I don't like the camera I don't like pictures of myself I don't like my voice I don't like the way I look I I quite literally I have a body dysmorphic disorder where I, I see myself completely different than what you see me so to everybody Thank you for being understanding, being supporting of me. I'm learning, I'm growing, and I'm blossoming as a person. Oh, I got a bid! Yay! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my Facebook auction, uh, one of the items I just actually posted like 10 minutes ago, got a bid. It sold three bucks in my pocket. Yeah. Um, I gotta call my sister-in-law, find out what she's up to. I gotta get over there and, you know, find out about that scrap oh another I'm getting I'm getting bids back and forth on my stuff yes I'm gonna uh, throw some pictures of what I've posted and then I'll do an update also of what they sold for I'm so excited that everybody's along for this ride with me it's super fun and for the selling aspect for like local Facebook auctions and stuff I have been doing this for about two years now so I do have a little bit of knowledge within the Facebook auctions and classifieds and that's where I'm comfortable so that's where I'm staying for now I'm able to make a quick buck that way I can have some money for my household with Christmas coming up oh and my son's second birthday is like right around the corner December 18th so I have to I have to do some birthday shopping I have to do some Christmas shopping I have a lot I have to get done so I'm gonna go ahead get this done have my coffee get some energy keep pushing each and every like second moment hour as much as you can keep pushing love what you do I love you all. Bye now.